So now in this video, we come back uh, to this circuit. Right now I'm powering it with my bench power supply and we need an inrush of current when I hit the button. But otherwise, this circuit is holding a pretty steady about eight milliamps of current. And the uh, it's providing five volts there and you can see we got up five squares on this oscilloscope here. So last video, instead of powering it with the power supply, we powered it with uh, this power bank and an alligator clip that comes from the uh, USB there, plugged in there. We'll come back to that later. And I also mentioned that this claims 50,000 milliamp hours, which it doesn't come anywhere near. I don't even think it made it to 10,000 milliamp hours when I tested it a long time ago. Here is my 30,000 milliamp hour, and I'm pretty sure that is the battery inside of it which has a lower voltage than it outputs probably averages about 3.6 volts and uh, so it outputs 5 it has to turn some of that current into voltage and so I believe it was like 20 22 24 actual milliamps of current at 5 volts you can see the size difference right there so if it looks like this it's claiming 50,000 milliamp hours they are lying and uh, usually the price is lower though so it's not a guarantee that it's bad for the price but in any case they're lying about the capacity that's a big problem with batteries so in any case first let's unplug this and we will take the uh, USB jumper and take their place so it's a little crowded up there Plug the uh, red one to this red jumper, which goes to the positive rail, and then I have a jumper that connects the two positive rails together. Right there. So, let's do this power bank first. So I already did a video on this, really, and uh, so I think it goes that way. And when I plug it in, you can see that we got 5 volts right there and the circuit works so we're not looking at this one anymore we're looking at uh, the portable power supply you see that it's plugged in right there and unfortunately I'm not sure how long it's gonna take but uh, at some point it's just gonna turn off and when it turns off, we'll see about a diode's worth of voltage, like 0.6 volts for something. I guess that's to see if it has a uh, low resistance load. And so the uh, the problem is, I'm pretty sure, we already saw we're only dealing with about 8 milliamps of current, whereas this is usually charging phones and stuff that are really looking for like an amp or so of current whatever it is depends on the phone there we go it just cut out uh, but we do have a little bit of voltage so that could be something investigated now it's going up a little bit so that's kind of interesting so we got that out of the way that was taking the longest and I figured I could ramble on the most hopefully I got my ramblings out of the way by the time we got to this battery pack so this battery pack was the one I used in the last video there we go we have the uh, voltage and this one's interesting so I kept seeing in the last video a flickering of the light and uh, so it's probably at that time right there the voltage dropped down so it, it dropped to that same basic voltage and then it kicks back in right away so that uh, tells me it's uh, looking for something we got the low current so, I got a fix for this, if, if that is a problem there. Also, with, with that dip, if you have a big enough capacitor, I'm thinking of doing a video with the super capacitor, but the main takeaway will be, we'll have the uh, super capacitor, it will charge the super capacitor when it dips down, the super capacitor will power the rail. And uh, I'm not sure if these have reverse protection, if there's other power supplies, so that's something we would have to test out later. But in uh, any case, for this video, what we're going to do, these are 
220 ohm resistors so we got the uh, 5 volts there divided by 250 ohms and so when I plug one in we get the uh, blue lights coming on and staying on and you can see we covered that whole area and it dipped down so I got a second 220 ohm resistor this did not work with the other power pack I think the power the other power pack the bigger one uh, was the same as whether those two resistors were there or not I don't think those two made a difference I'm pretty sure though if we got enough current flowing so we got the current of the circuitry about 8 milliamps of current and uh, the two resistors there I can't think of what it is I think it may be 30 milliamps 20 milliamps whatever it is and uh, so there you can see it's holding steady we get a little noise or something every once in a while but it's, it's staying pretty pretty well powered there that was when the capacitor suddenly charges it needs a little more current so at times the unit seems less ready than others to uh, provide that but in uh, any case there you go even at this uh, low current circuit I can power it but really I should have these other two resistors and I don't know even with uh, these two those lights are staying on so I'm guessing it's gonna power like this for a long time but of course you probably want to test it out to make sure uh, in case it has some other kind of shutdown feature or something who knows but in any case hope you enjoyed the video I learned a lot doing this testing I'd like to power more stuff with these portable supplies but really they're made for charging like phones and stuff so they're expecting like one or two amps of current something like that they're not really designed with powering a small circuit like this in mind so I'm trying to find some ways to kinda trick them into staying powered at all times in this case we're really just kinda wasting some current but uh, still that's okay these uh, it's still you know relatively low current it's not like we're draining the battery extremely fast but we are draining it a lot faster than just this circuit alone but still it, it will power stuff for a long time at these low currents so thanks for watching check out these other videos make sure you click the uh, subscribe button and the bell and uh, check out my other videos thanks for watching